Ladies and gentlemen, you know, Black Twitter is celebrating because of the collapse of Airbnb. Just in case you don't know, because of all the price gouging that has been going on recently, over the recent years, I should say, um, people are not using Airbnb like they once did before. And I can understand why our people won't use it because look at all the times the police was called um, and, you know, somebody spots someone at a house and see melanated people over there. And next thing you know, they're calling into the police talking about you broke in their house, you know, and we saw those stories out there. And, and then we remember some of the other ones where, uh, our people would use their house for Airbnb and then you got a squatter that won't leave. So we've seen all those stories. But, you know, I'm not surprised. Once you start price gouging, this is usually what happens. It's just like rent right now. It's hardly no one out here renting because the prices for the monthly payment is just outrageous to the point where people have backed off of the market. You know, now you're just starting to see some of the landlords come down on the prices, you know, and because they realize they can't get people in to rent their properties now. This is what always happens when you price gouge, y'all. But let's get into this story. So Black Twitter celebrates news of Airbnb revenue collapse. Black Twitter is celebrating the demise of a brand that once was a hit among millennials and Gen Z consumers, Airbnb. After price gouges and exuberant fees, Black Twitter has had enough of the vacation rental company whose revenue collapse is on the horizon, according to Newsweek. On June 27th, Nick Gurley, CEO of real estate and finance data app, Revenuture tweeted that Airbnb collapse is real, complete with a graph showing nearly 50% drops in profits from prominent cities such as Phoenix and Austin. Yeah, well... After news broke of Airbnb's declining revenue, Twitter users took to social media platform to share their thoughts of good writings on the matter. Yeah, you know, it was supposed to be. Now, when they started Airbnb, it was supposed to be a better alternative than to go to a hotel, you know? And people saw it as more reasonable because you had the use of a whole house opposed to being in a small room in a hotel, you know. But since they start going crazy with the prices, it's no longer reasonable to stay in Airbnb. It's more reasonable to go to a hotel now. So one user at Christie underscore D did not mince words in her take on Airbnb's abysmal situation. So she wrote, the Airbnb industry murdered itself unprovoked because the model is still very useful, but owners were trying to milk unreasonable profits from something that was supposed to be inexpensive by design. So she wrote this on June 28th, 2023 at 10 a.m. out on Twitter saying the once booming brand yeah and it was booming and we would see you know people doing videos at their Airbnb that they were staying at so other tweet uh, other tweeters um, chimed in supporting the original post which since it was released on Wednesday morning has garnered hundreds of quotes and retweets with another user noting how Airbnb contributed to rising homelessness in populations in certain cities, 
causing for legislation to be passed in order to restrict the amount of properties that could be used as short-term rentals within the service. So um, somebody by the name of Vicki Valencourt wrote, and then add that, that they became a huge contribution to homelessness so much so cities like Atlanta had to pass laws limiting landlords two and three properties. Like they price gouge and greedily brought up affordable housing so bad it literally had to, the state had to literally step in and say enough. Yeah, you know, unfortunately, once price gouging comes into play, they ultimately will ruin everything. It, it, you know, it just like rent, you know, all of these people jacking up the price of rent, they mess things up for themselves. Now you should see the amount of people out here that are trying to get somebody in their property and they just can't. Airbnb downward trajectory could signal a potential housing market crash as shrinking profits could lead to the mass selling of homes, an issue that contributed to the 2008 housing crash. However, the controversial business has received so much substantial slack from customers over the years that it is evident Black Twitters do not care how it impacts the overall economy. So as Airbnb suffers for its wrong moves. Wow. That sure didn't last long. Y'all, please tell me what you think about this story. Uh-uh-uh. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.